Hello everyone and welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal. Today we are on episode number 229. As always, I am Shane Thomas. Make sure you're following me on Twitter at smthomas3. Also, if you haven't already, check out codekarate.com. Sign up for the newsletter. We have a lot of cool things coming out soon. And uh, just make sure you're subscribed on YouTube as well. So today we're going to be talking about the Allowed Formats module. This is a really useful module if you've ever had uh, run into the scenario where you have a text field or a text area and you maybe don't want all of the normal text formats to show up. So maybe you have your normal body field on an article content type, but you also want a more restricted uh, text field maybe for like an overview field or a teaser field or um, some other completely different type of field, but you only want it to uh, have specific types of text formats that are allowed. So it's really good for kind of restricting those text formats so you don't just turn on the text area and you always have um, your full WYSIWYG editor no matter what text area or what content type it's a part of or what field. So it sounds a little confusing, I know. Uh, we'll get into it. It's really simple. So we're on the Allowed Formats module page on Drupal.org. It's just Drupal.org slash project slash allowed underscore formats. We're going to be using the 8.x-1.1 version today. And you can see it says limit which text formats are available for each field instance. Easy enough. Let's jump over to our Drupal site. And we're going to go to our module page. Make sure that the allowed formats module is turned on. If I can type correctly, of course. You can see it is turned on here. And there are, there's no configuration page because it's just not needed. All we need to do is go to a content type. Let's go to our article content type and we'll go to manage fields. So if we find a field here that has, that is a text field that has a formatted text allowed, you'll see this body field, for example, all we need to do is edit. And there's just a simple checkbox down here that says allowed formats. If I don't check anything, which would be the default on all text fields that are formatted, you can see it will allow all the ones that are available to the user. If, for instance, I wanted to restrict it, all I would have to do is check the box here and it would go ahead and only allow those to be used. So let's go back to manage fields and we'll just add another text field just to show how this could work. So let's go text format long and we'll just call this one, um, we'll just call it example field. You could obviously call it whatever you want. It'd be based on what your actual needs are. Limit it to one. And we're only going to allow the restricted HTML in this field. Actually, we'll go restricted HTML or, yeah, we'll just keep it there. You, we could go plain text too, but we don't want, um, so by default, this basic HTML or full HTML has the WYSIWYG editor. We don't want that. We'll just want the restricted HTML. And now if I were go to content, add content article, you can see I have my normal body field with the WYSIWYG editor. And I also have this example field, which has less or has more strict uh, HTML tags that can be used. So you can see I only have some allowed HTML tags here. I don't have the WYSIWYG editor. Up here though, I could change this body field to restricted HTML if I wanted. So you can see I have that flexibility on this field because I didn't check anything. On this one, I do not. Uh, one popular thing that I would do with this or I've done with this in the past is create an additional text format with a di completely different w or with the WYSIWYG editor, but a, a slimmed down profile of that. So it can still maybe just have bold, italicized, underline links, and you know, maybe just a few tags that you can use so you could have a more uh, limited set. And the reason this is, was useful in the cases I've used it is sometimes you want a client to be able to use some basic HTML, but not necessarily do things like embed images or things that could break markup on the page. So you want to limit it to only text um, with a few little embellishments here and there, but not allowing them to get too crazy with uh, a normal uh, body field type of situation. So you can kind of stream, streamline it or limit it a little bit. 
that's really all there is to it. The allowed formats module is really easy to turn on, enable. It works really well uh, to help those content editors to guide them in what they should be entering in any specific field. So try it out. Let me know what you think. And we'll see you next time on the Daily Dose Drupal. Goodbye.